Hey everyone, Ted at Cats here. So as promised, here is a concept that I learned at a TAPS class. And uh, I've got to give credit where it's due. My man, Matt Strauss, who's the head of the percussion department at Rice University in Houston, gave me this concept. It's called the four-step process, and it's the process for memorizing and executing music. Um, it's so simple, and yet it's something that takes some discipline to do. Um, so often I hear from students that say they went to a performance or they, they went to an audition and they were going through something that they know really well, but in the middle of it, they had a memory slip and they stopped playing or they played a bunch of wrong notes because they couldn't remember what came next. That's happened to me. It's probably happened to you. Um, they often say to me, I don't know why that's happening. I, do, I don't know why it happened. I think I know why it happened. And the answer is because they didn't know it well enough. I've certainly been there, um, but an example I always give is, have you forgotten the ABCs lately? That's something that you learned at a very early age. So it's stored in the deep recesses of your mind, uh, in your deep memory. Uh, you don't get stuck on the letter E or F. You can, you can get all the way through it. Um, what we're dealing with with the music that we're learning, and we're learning more and more notes all the time for the sake of auditions and performances. Um, what we're dealing with is we need to get those notes and that music into our deep memory. Um, but we don't have a lot of time to do it usually. This process is really helpful in that regard. So it's four steps. What I recommend when you start this process is do it with a piece of music that you know well, that you've played for a long time. So I'm going to just deal with the first four bars of Mozart's Magic Flute. So first I'll just play it. So now we're on to step one, which is play it very slowly, but accurately and include music making. Also think about using the stroke that you would want to use when you're performing it fast. I have to give credit for that idea, which I got from Joshua Jones in one of his TAPS classes earlier this year. Uh, it's genius and it's obvious, but it's great when you hear Josh say it, it's like, yeah, of course. So I'll try and do that. I'm going to try and use the same stroke and try and incorporate some of the musical ideas. In, in this case, for me, it's trying to outline the, the phrase, the four bar phrase of music with a little bit of an up and down. So, easy enough. Step two, now do it again, but this time don't play the instrument. So you're airplane, but use your, your visualization skills to hear what's happening. So yes, you gotta use your imagination here. Try and hear what you're, what you're doing with your mallets and try and make the stroke that you're using with your mallets make that sound happen. You get the idea there. Okay, step three. Now we've got to be more imaginative. Now, do it just like step two, except this time, don't move those mallets. So put the mallets here and watch yourself, imagine yourself doing step one, slowly. This can take some time to get a feel for it. So you may need to toggle back to step one or step two in order to make sure that you actually are seeing it. Now try again and watch yourself do it. Step four, close your eyes and see it happen and hear it happen. Again, this is going to take some practice. And so it's okay to go back to step three in which you see it with your eyes open or step two in which you airplay it or step one, in which you actually play the notes. What you'll find is that you'll improve this skill as you do it day by day, with the hope that 
the night before your performance, you can sit in bed in your most relaxed state and see yourself and hear yourself performing the magic flute at tempo with perfect time, with all the right notes, and with all those musical ideas that you've been baking in through this four-step process. I'm going to add one more step for today. Step five is trust that process. So often you get to the audition and there's these feelings of self-doubt. If you're doing these techniques and, and memorizing this music deeply and you can visualize yourself performing it, when you go to the audition, trust your process and believe that that process will work for you. Um, it certainly will if you believe in it. Thank you to Matt Strauss, who we'll be seeing at the TAPS LA Music Festival next month, and we hope you'll join us.